It's the file problem. What? We're taking an eight by 12 sheet and what? We're bending the sides up so that they make a file like this guy. All right. So we're trying to maximize the volume. Maximize the volume. The volume is given by length times width times height. Right. We're looking for the volume of this guy. Oh. Carl, we're gonna do the length times the width times the height, right? That eight is a constant, that's this side. We're bending them up. So that side is X, this is an X, and that's an X. Together, this entire side, this entire side, if we look at that, that's uh, 12 was that length, so that's 12 minus that x, we're looking for this length right here. What's that length right there? That's this side right here. That's that side right here. So it was 12, and then we're subtracting off one, no, two x's, minus two x, okay? So that's 12 minus two x, what's next? Our volume is length times width times height, right? So our length, bam, that's uh, eight, because this side is eight and that side is eight. So our length is eight times our width was 12 minus two X. Where'd that come from? That came from this blue piece right here. The entire length from here to here was 12. And then we cut off an X and we cut off another X. So we cut off two X's. And then our height, we need to find our height. Our height, oh, we've labeled it X. Bam! So now we have a function for the volume of our file. Oh, let's go ahead and get it in a nice form. So then... 8 times 12, oh that's big. There's a 6, carry a 1, I think it's 96. If that's not, is that, is, oh, oh, that's right. Minus 16. X squared, look at that, what I do. There's where I got my 96, and that's where I got my 16, okay. And then that's where I got that X, all right. And then that's where I got that X squared. So that's our volume. Let me just take that right here. Our volume is 96x minus 16x squared. So if I'm trying to find the maximum, that's a parabola opening down. It's a parabola opening down. Sure. Um... Um, so I'm going for my vertex. That's minus b over 2a and f of minus b over 2a. Because when I'm looking at a parabola, when I'm looking at a parabola, come on, pink, you can do it. My vertex is going to be the maximum, and that's given to us by that. So... I go, and I throw that up in there. Here's my ax squared, because the a is on the x squared, and my bx, okay, and I see I have no c. Mm. Uh -huh. So, my minus b over 2a, that's a minus 96 over a minus 16, ooh, six. It goes in there quite nice. So, that's six. And then we need f of six to find the maximum volume. All right, so wait, wait. Let me get this straight, straight. I'm over here, that's, whoa, really? I don't think that's right. I had to have goofed somewhere. Because that means I'm cutting six off of here and six off of there. That means that that's going to be zero? That don't make no sense. Every once in a while I make a mistake. Just to show you where you could go wrong 
in a problem. That's right, that's this. Oh, where was the goof? Right here, bam. That was my A term, minus 16, so there should have been a two there. So that should have been a minus 32. So then there should have been divided by two there. So then my X should have been three. So what's that? This isn't six, this isn't six. No, no, no. That's three, that's three. Oh, all right. So then that's six, because three plus three plus six is 12, and it all adds up now. So what? To find my maximum volume, I need to cut three, or bend up three inches. Bam, that guy right there. So then if I was trying to find that maximum volume, I'd be looking for f of three. I don't know if this problem even asks for that, but my volume is given to me by that. That's 96 times 3 minus 16 times 3 squared. And big numbers, that's the stuff they don't like. You finish. Come on, pig. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.